I am James and in this video we are taking a look at Borderlands 3 running on Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics and this is running at 1080p but with a 50% render scale so effectively running any 3D content at 540p and the very low detail preset. And we start off by running the built-in benchmark for the game. And what we see through this is an average of 40 frames per second. Um, for the most part, frame rates are above 30. There are some drops below that in places. And this isn't ideal. We would obviously like to be seeing sort of a locked 60 frames per second. But with this title, that just isn't practical. It's quite demanding. And the Iris Xe, particularly this 80 EU part on the Core i5, just can't quite get to that pace. We also have gameplay footage, and with that we can see, um, particularly in fast action, you are going to struggle a bit just with the lower frame rates, and obviously the graphical fidelity isn't great. I do try sniping a bit, and particularly playing through the capture card, there's a bit of input latency that wouldn't be there playing natively on the laptop. Um, but being precise with sniping and things like that is more difficult, and your experience versus you know particularly a higher end laptop or with discrete graphics is going to be diminished but if you want to play the game on intel iris xe it is possible so long as you're willing to make those compromises it is also worth noting uh, that this particular machine has a dual channel 16 gigabyte memory configuration it initially switched shipped with 8 gigabytes of RAM, which was a single 8 gig DIMM, half the memory bandwidth and really damaged performance. And going to that uh, dual channel configuration really helped with that. So even for, I'd say, fairly casual gaming, if you're looking at buying a machine equipped with a uh, Core i5 1135G7 with the Intel Iris graphics, or really any laptop where you're going to be wanting to game on it, even on a fairly basic level, make sure you're buying one with a dual channel memory configuration. I hope you've found this video useful. Do let me know in the comments what other games you would like to see me testing. Um, hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos as we post them. And hit like if you found this video has been of help to you. Thanks for watching.